Hey guys, I'm Aaron Edgar, and I'm here with some tips on selecting drumsticks. So, so the first thing that you want to do with all your sticks is to roll them, just to make sure they're completely straight. Now you can see if the tip wobbles a little bit, one, and this one does very, very slightly, then it's slightly warped. Now you can expect with all natural wood products that that's going to be the case. Like you'll get a few that are perfect and you'll get ones that are going to be just so slightly off. But you know, the more you start focusing on technique, the more you're going to realize and notice these things. So these two are both very, very slightly warped. The next thing that we want to do is try and bend them and just, you know, put a moderate amount of effort into this. Just feel what they feel like flex wise. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to check the pitch of the sticks. So you're going to hold it as loose as possible and listen to them. I'm not sure if it's going to translate through the camera, but this one is slightly higher pitched. The last thing that we have to think about is the weight of the sticks. Even with the sticks being the same, again, natural wood product, there's going to be variations. So. These sticks, as far as the Virgil's Assault would go, are sort of a medium weight. They have that slight kind of bend to them, and they're very close pitch-wise. That, for me, means that this pair of sticks is going to be for live. So I'm going to separate them, put them in this pile. Let's see what the next pair. Already I can feel this pair is a little bit heavier. Let's roll it. This one's perfectly straight, and so is this one. Now. Those are things that I look for. If it's perfectly straight and they're a little heavier, chances are this is going to be either a technique pair or a pair that I'm going to use in the studio. So let's check them out with the other things. Flexibility, extremely solid. This one, slightly less solid than this one, but this is, again, an extremely minute difference. I just have been doing this for years so I can recognize these kind of things. It's going to take you guys a while to sort of notice these differences of doing this kind of stuff. So let's pitch them. These are almost exactly the same. This pair feels fantastic. So this is going to go in my pile for A+. Let's check the next pair. So. Alright, now the reason, one of the reasons to go through all this trouble is, I mean, the more perfect you can decide how your sticks are, before you even buy them, the longer they're going to last you. Now, what I like to do is I kind of, I guess, rate my sticks every time that I get them, this being the best pair. These ones were also amazing. Um, normally, I'll take whatever pairs are straight up perfect and really heavy, and I'll keep them specifically for technique. I'll only use them on a practice pedal, just use them for working on hand technique. If they're extremely close, like in the sort of like 98, 99% perfect range, I'm going to use these ones for practicing at home and working on stuff when I'm actually really trying to develop myself. Anything that's under that, like, I mean, Vader's are extremely consistent. When I say something isn't perfect, like, we're still talking it's in the, like, 96, 97, at the lowest, like, 95% sort of range. Like, they're a fantastically built stick. I mean, I've played pretty much every stick around. I, was, I spent years experimenting trying to find what was right for my hands, and Vader just had amazing quality control and amazing specs on the sticks on the sticks that I looked through so all these sticks that didn't quite hit into the 98 and up percentage range is going into my stick bag for live so that's how I choose my sticks and that's how I pick through them and you can use these same principles to make sure when you're in the store you're just buying the best of the best so for now hope you guys subscribe I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys soon bye